Dear guests of Riga Conference, I know you have a tense first day, so I want to thank everyone who has made the trip to be here in Riga today, and especially our colleagues and friends from Ukraine. I know that your thoughts are back home with all the men and women who are fighting to liberate the occupied territories, and with all the Ukrainian families who are suffering from the brutal bombarders on your cities. I know that you are fighting not only for the liberation of Ukraine, but you are fighting for all of us. And it's an honor to have you here in our city. So some of you may know that before I became the mayor of the city, I worked as a parliamentary secretary in the Ministry of Defense. And you might also know that uh, a parliamentary secretary has a quite limited power to influence decisions. But when the ministry needs to attend the conference, you are the right person to call. So, <laughs> I want to start with a confession. Uh, back then, I never liked the conferences. <laughs> I used to work in a business where everything was about getting things done. And conferences never seemed like a place where anything got done. But it's important for politicians to admit their mistakes. And as a mayor of Riga, I have understood how important events such as the conference, uh, Riga conference they actually are. How vital they have been to put Riga and Latvia in the Euro-Atlantic security sphere. And especially know how important they are for unity of Europe when our neighbors in Ukraine are bravely fighting against the brutal and oppressive Kremlin regime. International cooperation has, be, has been key not only for the countries, NATO and the EU. It has also been a key for cities to become voices of democracy on the international stage. For me, it started last year when I raised the Belarus opposition flag in our city, and it has continued ever since. During the last six months, I have been to numerous events together with my colleagues the mayors of the Baltic countries and Nordic cities and other cities in Europe. We have visited Ukraine and seen the first stand and bravery and resilience of Ukrainian people. And we have shared experience and worked together to make sure our cities are doing their part to help Ukraine. So even before the war started, Riga made sure that our cities was full with Ukrainian flags. We quickly established a refugee center to make sure Ukrainians can feel safe and welcomed. Thousands of families in Riga opened their homes to help Ukrainians. We have sent money and buses, and very soon we will send generators to our friends in Kiev as well, as well 10 more buses. But there is a lot more than cities can do and should do. Last week, I and other mayors met with Madame Ursula von der Leyen to discuss the European package of reconstruction of Ukraine. And we agreed that cities should be strategic partners. One example for this is renovation. If you walk around Riga, you will notice that a lot of our buildings are similar to those in Ukraine. We know how to rebuild them. And we will be ready to help Ukraine in this effort. I know that during the first day, you discussed a broad range of topics. Energy security, sanctions, joint defense initiatives, hybrid threats, NATO strategy, EU integration, and cyber security. But let us not for a moment forget that just as we are here today talking about how to make Europe safer and how we can stand united in our support for Ukraine, people in Kremlin also are talking. They are talking about how to divide us, how to use the threat of nuclear bombs to discourage armed shipments to Ukraine, how to use the energy crisis to pit Ukrainians and Europeans against each other, and how to influence our elections to get their friends into power. So, even if we are united today, we cannot take it for granted. It's a battle that all of us, myself included, will have to fight every single day until Ukrainian victory. And 
that is the most important role of the Riga conference during these two days. It took me too long to understand the importance of conferences, just as it took Europe too long to understand where we stand on Russia. Know that we have and know that we are united. Let's not forget it tomorrow, let's not forget during this winter, and let's not forget it in years and decades to come. And all ladies and gentlemen, it's a Friday. So please enjoy your dinner and don't forget also to walk around the city, enjoy the beauty of this marvelous town. Thank you so much.